Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad with your word for the day. Happy Tuesday. And uh, let me ask you a question. Have you ever felt forsaken? I, I mean, maybe you were grieving the loss of someone that you loved and you cried out and said, God, why did you take them from me? Maybe you've been stricken with sorrow and your heart is just heavy and uh, maybe you've been rejected or, or heartbroken and you're just like, why? Why did this have to happen? Maybe it's because you failed. You know, you did something incredibly stupid and now you're suffering the consequences and you feel all alone and rejected. Or, or maybe it's just because, you know, you, you feel lost and alone and like nobody cares. Doesn't matter the reason. I just want you to know if you've ever felt forsaken, Jesus knows how you felt. Jesus felt forsaken. On the cross, he cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of you are wondering why I'm quoting Matthew and Mark in when we're talking about the Psalms. Uh, and there's a reason, because I believe that when Jesus was crying out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? That, yes, he felt forsaken, but he was actually quoting Psalm 22. If you're not familiar with Psalm 22, you need to read this. I'm going to read a bunch of it to you right now. Uh, listen to what... Jesus pray. This is parts of Psalm 22, not all of it, but parts of it. And see if this doesn't sound like what he's going through on the cross that day. He says, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer. And by night, but I find no rest. Kind of sounds like the garden, doesn't it? Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. In you our fathers trusted. They trusted and you delivered them. To you they cried and were rescued. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. But I am a worm and not a man, scorned by mankind and despised by the people. All who see me mock me. They make their mouths at me. They wag their heads. Oh, he trusts in the Lord. Let the Lord deliver him. Let the Lord rescue him if he delights in him. That's exactly what the Pharisees said to Jesus when he hung on the cross. That's what the thieves said to him. If you're the Messiah, save yourself and us. And then look down at verses 14. Jesus said, I am poured out like water. All of my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted within my breast. My strength is dried up like a pot shirt and my tongue sticks to my jaws. You lay me in the dust of death. For dogs encompass me. A company of evildoers encircles me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. Psalm 22, verse 16. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them and for my clothing they cast lots. Psalm 22 is prophecy about the crucifixion and they didn't even realize it until Jesus was living it out right in front of them. And he quotes it just so they can know this is about him. And then towards the end of the psalm, verse 22, I will tell of your name to my brothers. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you offspring of Jacob, glorify him and stand in awe of him, all you offspring of Israel, for he has not despised or abhorred the affliction of the afflicted. Did you catch that? He hasn't despised. He hasn't abhorred us. And he has not hidden his face from him, but has heard when he cried out to him. So yes, Jesus felt forsaken. And it's okay for you to feel forsaken. I mean, after all, that's what Jesus was expressing when he cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? But Jesus also knew the truth. He knew that God was with him and did not despise him. Even though he felt despised, even though he felt rejected, even though he felt forsaken, he said, my God has not forsaken me. He knew that God would hear his cry and that God would deliver him. Not from the cross, not from the pain, but through the resurrection. So Jesus felt forsaken, but he knew that the Father's plan of redemption would win the day. He knew it, and he trusted in God. 
See, that's what it looks like to feel forsaken and to have faith. Let me say that again. That's what it looks like to feel forsaken and yet still trust in God. You can do both at the same time. So however you're feeling today, whatever you're going through, whether it's highs or lows or just somewhere in between, just know that God is with you. He has not forsaken you and he will redeem you. I hope and pray that that blesses you and that you have a blessed day.